Welcome back. In this video, we are going to experiment with a slightly different model and break one of the assumptions of economic order quantity. And this assumption is that the inventory has to go to zero before um, new inventory is ordered, which is not usually the case. Most businesses would like to keep some safety stock. So what, what I'm doing here is um, trying to make a different model that typically inventory models tell us that this is how we must work. If this is my time period, and if this is my inventory, well, I order something and then use it up as soon as it gets zero, I order something again, use it up as soon as it gets to zero, order something, uh, and then keep using it. This is the standard UQ model. We find this shaded region area and uh, multiply it by the holding cost to find the total holding cost, ordering cost, and we solve it. Now, in the model that um, I am trying to bring here uh, to the discussion is only slightly different. What am I doing is, I'm gonna here force this model to have a safety stock which is equal to so much. This number here is the stock that I force it to hold which is some safety stock value which is S, okay? And so I'll keep doing the usual stuff. I'll order here the same quantity that um, I talked about earlier, the quantity Q. And then what I'll do is um, keep using it till it gets to the safety stock limit, reorder, keep using it till it reaches the safety stock limit, reorder, and da -da -da, the same thing continues. So now what has happened is, my um, average inventory consists of these two triangles. I have this particular triangle, or these two parts, this triangles that I have as previous. And there is this extra safety stock zone, which I have in additional to these triangles. So in my calculations for average inventory, um, just a little bit of geometry, what I'll have to do is I'll have to find the area of the triangles and then also the area of the shaded green rectangle. So yeah, let's keep this um, aside and uh, move on to our Excel sheet, which has um, some information, uh, same data, everything is exactly same, except that I've added that the company decides to keep a safety stock of 500 units. Uh, SS is the safety stock. I think I have already named it. You can go here, go to formulas, name manager. Yeah, I've already put the names. I've put some addition, but I'll delete it so that we can restart. Close. I go to create from selection. It uses the left column. It creates the names and then I have to model. So the way I start modeling is my order size, which is Q. I have the total holding cost, which is TH. I have the total ordering cost, which is TO. And I have the total cost, which is T, which I'm supposed to minimize. I'll give myself some more space. And I am going to name these things also. Create from selection, left column, done. This is exactly similar as the previous EOQ video. So Q, I'll just assume some quantity 1000. Doesn't matter what I start with. And I invite you to try um, something different. Let's bring that diagram from the previous page back inside. I'm going to select, uh, copy this diagram and bring it here. And I hope that it pastes. Wonderful, it does, but it's too big. Let's reduce the size a little bit. Yeah, this is the diagram. Remember, I need to find the area of the triangle, which I know is Q by 2. So I'm going to set area of the triangle is Q by 2. And I need the area of the green rectangle, which is S times 1, because the length of the period is 1. So I can say plus S. And then I multiplied this by the total holding cost, which is CH times P. And this gives me my holding cost. 
Oh, this is SS. I miss the name is SS, not S. Wonderful. And my ordering cost is same as usual. D by Q gives me my number of orders multiplied by cost per order, which is my ordering cost. And then the total cost is equal to TH plus holding cost plus total ordering cost, which gives me this number. And um, to solve it, um, very simple, I go to data, our friend solver, and I say I have to set objective is my total cost T, which I need to minimize. Only thing I can change is Q, GRG nonlinear, and then I ask it to solve it. And what I get is um, this values. It says um, this number is exactly same as the EOQ. Um, 4618 if you remember the previous video uh, but the holding cost and the ordering cost are not equal to each other they're different because the holding cost increases by this green triangle a uh, green rectangle area which is I order 500 units for the year and 1.5 units so $750 it should be more than that but yeah so um, EOQ doesn't change even if you order um, have keep a certain safety stock that's what this uh, proves. But a simple thing that I want you to learn from this video is this idea that you can keep breaking the assumptions. All you do is change the model a bit, put it in the same method and solve it again and um, you can get um, the answer for the uh, order quantity so that the total cost is minimized.